Hi there, it's Julie Hodge. It's March 19th, 2012 today. Welcome. This is my very first installment of what I hope will be a fairly regular webcam uh, video cast for you guys. Um, it just so happens that uh, this is my broken thumb, that I broke my thumb last Wednesday during a weightlifting uh, accident. Uh, an Olympic bar fell right on it. And uh, I had surgery this past Saturday, so looking for the blessings in all things as always. And I believe that uh, having a broken thumb, uh, thankfully it's not my right hand, but um, has forced me to have to calm down and uh, do everything more slowly. And it's leaving me with a little bit more time as I need to heal and respect my body's need for rest. So I figure what better time than now to maybe get on the old video bandwagon. So here I am. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm in bed. This is my bed. <laughs> uh, nothing fancy today, just uh, the facts and telling it as it is. So um, I have a couple things I wanted to start off with for my very first webcam video cast for you all. Um, what, what I want to talk today about, um, just a couple things. Uh, first of all, I want to kind of review five of my favorite fitness tips or fitness strategies for success. I get asked by friends and family and clients alike pretty much the same few questions um, quite frequently. So I'm going to cover some of what those are and uh, give you guys some great websites to check out uh, in terms of uh, nutrition at the end as well. Anyways, a little bit about me. For those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Julie Hodge. I run a full-time fitness uh, and personal training business called Inside Out Fitness here in Calgary. Uh, I run uh, personal training and group classes out of a couple private studios here in the city, but I also work with uh, a registered holistic nutritionist to provide uh, nutrition services for clients. I facilitate and deliver workshops to various um, individuals, groups, um, and companies on uh, whatever topic uh, that you choose, be it fitness, uh, nutrition, or lifestyle related, or a combination of all three. And um, I have a background in kinesiology. I've got an honors diploma in uh, registered massage therapy. And uh, though I don't practice, I still, of course, have all that knowledge retained and uh, years of experience working with people, uh, dealing with injuries, and helping re rehabilitate and recover people from those injuries. So um, this background and my personal training and uh, my own personal experience as an athlete um, and training throughout the year competitively for figure competitions and various other events and races um, brings me to a pretty good position to be able to work with those clients that I'm blessed to be able to help and, um, and help friends and family as well just with uh, how to live a healthier, a happier uh, and more functional lifestyle. So the first thing is um, I guess my five tips or I guess my five most favorite strategies for success um, that I've come to, to put together um, is um, the first one is eating, nutrition, eating clean. Uh, probably unless you have been living in a cave, there's a very good uh, chance that you've heard the saying eat clean. Well, I truly believe that uh, number one in my top five strategies for success is eat clean and eat more often. So that means choosing foods that uh, don't have ingredients. For example, uh, a fruit or vegetable has one ingredient, what it is. Um, it might come in a package, but there's no ingredients listed. Again, it's just what it is. Um, so I believe in eating a nutritious uh, menu of foods given to us from Mother Nature. Lean meats, fish, fruits, vegetables. Um, I don't eat a lot of grains myself, but whole grains um, if need be. And that includes things like brown rice, quinoa, and oatmeal. Uh, I eat plain old-fashioned oatmeal that I have to cook in a pot every single morning along with egg whites for breakfast as an example. Um, and you have to eat enough. Many people say, well, Julie, you know, I'm, I don't eat very much, you know, but I still can't lose weight or I'm not making any progress. Well, I have to ask, what are you eating? How often are you eating? Quite often, not even eating enough can hold on to the pounds and thwart your best effort at, waste lo at weight loss. So uh, eat clean, eat often. I eat five to six times a day, every two and a half to three hours. And uh, I forego the unhealthy fat. I forego the refined processed foods in favor of, uh, like I said earlier, nutritional choices um, found in Mother Nature. Uh, I limit sugar. I limit refined foods. And I try to eat things that don't have ingredients. So we'll get more into that subject uh, on future webcasts. But for now, that's uh, a quickie little 
eat clean blurb for you. Uh, number two, I would have to say, uh, in terms of a fitness strategy, is hit it. High intensity interval training, H-I-I-T. Most people aren't training intense enough or they get into a pattern and they get used to what they're doing and their body becomes really efficient at that for example my favorite example is long slow distance cardio you know running the same 5k a few times a week sitting on the treadmill or on the bike or, or running on the treadmill for you know 45 minutes an hour an hour and a half even and the same old thing um, you have to vary your intensities and you have to find intervals where you can go all out for example 30 seconds and then recover for 30 seconds to a minute. You have to find an intensity that's high enough so that you can get into that um, more intense, more effective fat burning state. And I will actually have future segments getting much more in detail in terms of what HIT is. But uh, safe to save for today, you've got to hit it. Do sprints outside, do sprints on a bike, do, do sprints on a treadmill, whatever that might be. Create an intense enough environment followed by recovery, so you're getting your heart rate up and you're really working all out during those intervals. Uh, number three, I would have to say give up your excuses. We all have them. I'm too tired, I'm too busy, oh I'll do it next week, oh I'll do it after this birthday party, oh I'll do it after this event. You know, we have to stop the excuses. If, if all you do is keep pushing your, your goals into the future, then that's where they're going to stay, is in the future. So it starts with the decision to say, I'm, I'm done with my excuses, and as Nike said, just do it, okay? That's, that's all there is to say about this. I will, of course, um, have future webcasts on motivation and inner decision-making and um, getting beyond your excuses. Uh, the other thing, too, is, is make small changes, you know? Make cut off little pieces that you can chew. Uh, for example, if you're not drinking a lot of water but you want to feel better, Start with, you know, drinking more water for the next seven days. You know, from there, maybe you can look at cutting out uh, the sugar in your morning coffee and replacing it with raw honey or stevia. Um, you know, make, make your goals achievable and break them down into small, um, doable changes so that you're not trying to change five, six, seven, eight, twenty 20 things at the same time. Make it manageable. Focus on one thing at a time. Build that habit. Build a new healthy habit. Replace your unhealthy habit one at a time. And before you know it, it'll just become a new habit. And you can tackle something else the, the next week or the next month or the next six months after that. Um, which leads into number five, which is setting goals for success. If you don't know where you're going and you don't know where you want to go, then how on earth are you going to know where you're starting from or when you're going to get there? It's kind of like walking into a mall and, you know, you see that little sign that says you are here and it shows you all the other stores in the mall and it shows you all the other entrances. Well, then you have an idea of where you are to start and you can navigate through and see what steps you need to take to get there. Same with fitness and nutrition. So what is your goal? Is it to lose weight? Is it to gain more muscle mass? Is it to compete in a race? Is it to look good in a bikini? Do you have a time frame? Is it a goal you want to achieve in a week, a year, five years from now. Make it make it realistic um, and make it achievable. <clears throat> so, for example, if you want to lose 20 pounds and your goal is to do it by next week, that's probably pretty unrealistic um, because there is no magic pill. Um, it takes work, it takes effort, commitment, and dedication to reach your goals with fitness and nutrition. Um, so what is it that you want to achieve? Write it down. You know, you might have one goal, you might have two goals, you might have ten goals. Write them down. Set timelines for them that are realistic. And if you're not sure, talk to somebody who's a professional. Send me an email. Call me. Um, talk with a trainer. Talk with a nutritionist. Uh, find somebody who, that you, who you relate to, um, who you might have a good rapport with, whose philosophy, you know, matches your own outlook. And then, and then get their help to help put together sort of a fitness or nutrition strategy for success that's going to be unique and specific for you. So anyways, um, just in a nutshell, eat clean and eat more often, hit it, so work more intensely than you're used to, push your own envelope, uh, give up your excuses, set yourself some goals, and make small changes at a time. Break them down. Hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> um, the other thing too is I wanted to um, respond to an email I received the other day from Chad P. Uh, Chad sent me an email on Facebook and he said, Julie, um, I'm trying to clean up my eating. You're the professional to ask. Can you recommend any really good nutrition sites? 
Well, Chad, yes, I can. Uh, there's quite a few. Um, the first one I would probably recommend is cleaneatingmag.com. That's triple dub dot clean eating mag m a g dot com, and uh, the next website I would recommend you have a look at is triple um, w dot marks daily apple dot com. That's another great site. And um, if you just give me one more second here, uh, there's another site called Simply Sugar and Gluten Free, and the website on that one is simply sugar and gluten free dot com. Um, so hopefully those three websites are helpful. Take a look and um, I believe from each of those sites they'll provide you with um, links and references to other sites and you can just keep researching and gathering information uh, as you go. Um, anyways, I have rambled on enough for today. I have to leave here quick um, and teach my very first kick and condition class. It's time for me to take two more T3s and um, get a little bit of rest before I do that. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.